Hey guys, ShadowJack05 still on this um, SilverJack05 channel. It's a few minutes later. And guys, we're going to review the final figure in the wave, Grim Foxy. Um, like I said, this is another one of my brother's figures. Um, so I'm also excited for this review as well. Well, I've actually been excited for all of them. But out of all of them, I just want to say real quick, out of all the reviews I've done, including this one... I think it's Jack O'Bonnie, the one I already just did. I think Jack O'Bonnie was the one that I was most excited for. But yeah, done talking about that. Um, so first, before we open Grim Foxy, let's talk about the packaging once again. It does say Curse of Dreadbear right there. It says Five Nights at Freddy's right there. Also, don't worry about the other stuff on my desk. Um, of course, we have Grim Foxy in there. Cool background image, once again, the graveyard, pumpkins, jack-o'-lantern jack behind him. Jack-o'-lantern's right there. Grim Foxy right there. Let's turn it around. Of course, get the rest of the figures in the wave. We have, I'm sorry about that. It does say Five Nights at Freddy's right there. Curse of Dreadbear right there. We have Dreadbear, Jack O'Bonny, Glitch Trap, and Grim Foxy. And, uh, yeah. Of course, we do still get that wooden background. So, with that out of the way, let's get this thing open. Hopefully, when, let's hope it once again that we don't, don't damage the packaging too much, because it's too cool looking. Let's, hang on a second. Okay. Okay. Hang on, guys. This, once again, this may take some time, so please be patient. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly got it, I think. Yep, nearly got it. Okay. Okay, okay I got him out. I'm gonna set this down here for now. Okay. And so we nearly have Grim Foxy out of the packaging. So let's see if we can... Well, okay, this one might be the hardest. Let me see here. Okay, got that part. And here's the last part. Once again, we have to cut so close to the action figure. Okay, once, I'll say this one more time. It's a success. We cut the, the strings without cutting the action figure. Now let's see if we can get them out. Okay. So I'll probably start with this arm. Okay, got that, that arm. Got this arm. Okay. And, oops, his leg came off. That's all right. We can easily get it back on. Okay. Set this down here for now. Grab these real quick. Sorry about that, guys. I thought I saw something. Um, okay. So, we have Grim Foxy out of the packaging. Let me get his leg back on. Oops. And another part's breaking off. Okay. Now we got him fully reassembled. So here is Grim Foxy looking very cool. So once again, I really like that translucent material that they used. Um, real quick, guys, just so you know, this one does not turn at the waist like I thought it would, but that's all right. Um, so first, once again, they use that cool translucent material. Um, yeah, I do believe also that they kind of reused the Nightmare Foxy figure. I do have Nightmare Foxy as well. Um, yeah, I got the Nightmare Foxy figure as well. And I do believe they reused it to make this one. Well, probably at least some parts. Because this hand, I do believe, is different. It looks like he's trying to crush something. I think that's cool. But yeah, I really like how that hand looks like he's trying to crush something. And also, I really do like his huge hook. To me, I do believe Grim Foxy has the biggest hook out of all Foxies. And I really do like those sharp teeth, that those black edges, his exposed snout piece, just like Nightmare Foxy. And yeah, and I don't think I'm ever going to get over how cool this translucent material is. I'm sorry if, I, if I'm talking about it too much. I just can't get over how cool it is. Um, but yeah, I do like how they made it look like he has fire in him, because he does. And also, he does have a flaring yellow eye, so I like how they painted it yellow. And I, yeah, I like that. And of course, I do like those metal ears as well. 
And these things, these shoulder pieces, I don't know what they're called, but I really do like these shoulder pieces. I think they make them look more scary. I think that's cool. Like I said, I really do like his large hook and his hand. It looks like he wants to crush something. And I also really do like his exposed metal legs right here, just like Nightmare Foxy. So now let's talk about articulation. So for articulation on this figure, um, the head can move up and down. And real cool, guys, I want you to know these shoulder pieces and the ears don't move. Once again, don't try because you'll break it. But the head does move up and down. Um, it can move from side to side. Um, but the shoulder pieces um, kind of limit articulation. But that's good because like, because I will say this, guys. I'd rather lose articulation than have missing details. So, yeah, it's better to lose articulation than have missing details. At least to me it is. Probably there are some collectors out there that are pro that probably think differently. But, yeah. Anyway, that aside, um, his arms can move. Um, just like any other FNAF figure. This hand does move, but the hook does not move. And do not try to move that hook at all, because you could break it. And also the legs move. Oops, my gosh. There goes that leg popping off again. But the legs do move, be careful. But yeah, the legs move. Also just the same as any other FNAF figure. Um, also here's the back. Not really anything to say about the back. But uh, yeah. Well, I also want to say, I also like how all the withering in this animatronic. All the tatters, tears, exposed metal, stuff like that. I think... All this withering makes this figure really cool. Once again, especially that translucent stuff. The translucent material. I cannot get over how cool it is. But, uh, yeah. That is Grim Foxy. And we have now reviewed all five figures in the wave. Including, um... <clears throat> sorry, about, including Captain Foxy, who's in the middle right there. So, yeah, guys. So, guys... What are your thoughts on these figures? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, while you're telling me that, in the comments down below, tell me which figure is your favorite. Me, personally, well, I can't decide. Well, I can't decide either Glitch Trap, um, Dreadbear, or Jack O'Bonny. You know, I might go with either Glitch Trap or Jack O'Bonny. Hmm. Let me see if I can quickly decide. Glitch Trap or Jack O'Bonny. Hmm, which one? I might say Jack O'Bonny. Jack O'Bonny is probably, probably my favorite. Um, or I might eventually change it to Ghost Trap, I know, but for now, it's Jack O'Bonny. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, like I said, comment down below what your thoughts are on these figures. Comment down below which one's your favorite. And uh, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.